Hey, um, just just out of curiosity, a lot of excitement around this team being 2-0, and a great start. Is there any need for conversation from leaders, uh, you know, not to let the, the hype get too big, or, or do you not sense that's an issue at this point in the season? No, I don't sense that as an issue. I think we can recognize that we've got six points, and that's uh, obviously, you know, a good step for us in the right direction, but... Uh, also know that we haven't played our best. Uh, we've given up four goals in two games, which I think we want to do better on. So uh, we're still working on things in practice. It's not like we're patting ourselves on the back and, and saying if we keep playing this way, we're going to be good. Because if we keep giving up two goals a game, it's not, we're not always going to score three. So um, definitely have some things to work on, but definitely also happy that we have six points because that gives us a good start to the season, gives us some confidence and all that. Wonderful, thanks. Like the John and Vinny shirt, what's your order there? Uh, the spicy, I, I forget, spicy fusilli, and then I like just a margarita pizza, my favorite. Can't go wrong. Thanks, Sasha. You're welcome. Man, I just got really hungry. I'd rather uh, talk about is. John and Vinny's than soccer anyway, so let's go. More John okay. and Vinny's questions. I'd like that. Uh, I'll, I'll throw it to Josh. He's probably going to ask a boring, boring soccer question. Yeah, yeah, definitely a boring soccer question. Uh, Sasha, uh, Seattle is a difficult team to play at home. Obviously, you put the turf in there, but they're an organized team. Uh, they've been successful, in, you know, for a long time. Um, so, what do you guys need to do to uh, to get a result from from this game in Seattle? Well, you know, concentration for for the whole game, uh, taking our chances because we probably won't have as many chances as we've had in the other games. They're a very organized team. They're a very experienced team. They're a team that, you know, they bend, but they don't break. So, you know, even if you look at their first home game of the season against Minnesota, they could have been down a couple of goals in, in the first half, and then they came out in the second half, changed a few things, and, and really, you know, crushed Minnesota and put away some really nice goals. So a team that's capable of scoring good goals as well. They've got some talented players in attack, Rui Diaz especially. I don't know if Lodero will be playing or not, but... Uh, Christian Roldan has also done a really good job just playing that number 10 role to, you know, since lodero has been out and covering so much ground and creating chances and all that. So we know it will be a tough game. I think we're prepared for that. We're prepared for the way that they play now, you know, you know, 3-5-2 or 5-3-2, whatever it is. Um, we're prepared for it. So I think it will be a very good game between two pretty good teams. Great. Thanks, Sasha. Yep. Thanks, Josh. We'll go next to Scott French. Scott, go ahead. Hey, Sasha, I wanted to get your thoughts on what Javier has done these first two weeks and how that impacts the team in terms of confidence and, and a sense of well-being. I mean, I think what he's done is amazing. Uh, I read the statistic that only him and Brian Ching are the only two players to have five goals after two games in MLS history, so that in itself is quite an accomplishment. Um, Cheech has been very good. You, what are you, you going to say bad about the guy who's got five goals in two games? He, you know, he's led us to two victories, basically. So uh, he's our big guy. He's our guy up front. He's the guy that everybody leans on. And so, you know, the better he's playing, the better the team is going to do. So it often happens in MLS that you have to rely on your superstars. And so he's our big guy. And, and, and the more goals he scores, it's going to be better for us. But he's been very positive in training. He's had a great attitude, a great mentality. So... Everything for him has been good, and, and hopefully, you know, he's the leader of the front line. It continues to trickle down through the rest of the team. And how does that impact the sense of well-being uh, in that you went through last year, you know the struggles of last year, and we're seeing something very different this year? Well, yeah, you know, he's, a, he's an example of the difference between last year and this year, so... Other guys can feel it too. The, the, the mood within the team, the, the vibes in the team right now are just so much better than last year, so much different than last year. And so everyone's excited. Everyone's been feeling good. We're feeling like a real family who, who comes to work every day in order to better ourselves, in order to get better as an individual and as a team. And uh, it's showing in the games. The games are when you get to show it to the world, right? We show it to each other day in and day out. But on the weekends is when we get to be, you know, showing the rest of the league what we're about. And so... Um, that part's been fun. The, the, the games have been good for us so far, so hopefully we continue that in Seattle and we'll keep the good vibes going. Thank you, Sasha. Yep. Thanks, Scott. We'll go next to Alicia Rodriguez with SB Nation. Alicia, go ahead. Thank you so much. Uh, Sasha, I wanted to ask, um, I'm not sure if you speak French or not, but given that there's a, a group of French-speaking players coming over, um, joining the team this year, 
Are you somebody who's kind of, uh, you know, taking a role in, in helping them acclimate, um, you know, to a new team, a new country, given that you, you know, you went abroad, you played at Anderlecht for, for several years. Is that something that you've taken on or, um, you know, either kind of formally or informally to, to help the guys get acclimated to the team? Yeah, well, Sam is the only one here so far, um, and he doesn't speak very much English, and I'm the only one who speaks French, so I'm pretty much his official translator for everything that goes on around here. So I'm, I, I have to send an invoice to Chris Klein for a second part of my job now. Um, but no, I enjoy it. I, I, I haven't spoken a lot of French in the past couple of years. In New York, there were about five guys on the team that spoke French, so I was able to keep speaking. But um, it's been good for me to practice my French, to speak with Sam. I'm doing my best to make him feel welcome here. Um, and he's been great you know, on his own, even though he doesn't speak the language, he's a very social guy and is becoming very sociable with the rest of the group, which uh, I commend him for because sometimes it's hard to go into a foreign country where you don't speak the language and make friends. And I think he's done a very good job of being part of the group and trying to be funny in his own way, trying to be part of the group, trying to uh, yeah, just have banter with the guys and, and teach, you know, some guys are trying to learn little French words, you know, to talk to him and he's learning English as best as he can. But yeah, I've been trying to help out as much as I can in that regard. We'll go next to uh, Gio Garcia again. Gio, go for it. Hey, Sasha. That, I mean, that, that's great to hear that, you, you know, you're a translator now. Maybe maybe you have a, a future outside of soccer with that. Um, but I just wanted to ask you about uh, Augustine Williams. Uh, obviously, the news was to official today uh, that Augustine Williams is going to be joining the first team. Uh, what are your thoughts about him uh, um, this preseason or what you've seen and now how he can help you guys? Uh, I think he had a very good preseason. I think he was able to put himself in good positions to score some goals this preseason, which uh, always helps when you're a striker. But I think most of it goes back to the work he did last season at G2, all the success he had being their leading goal scorer and, and, and with a group of young guys being a guy who, who was, uh, I think, uh, an important player for their team uh, to further them along last season. Uh, and, I, and I think it's just a good thing for LA Galaxy as a whole that shows that there is a pathway to the first team through G2 also, which hopefully we can use more of that in the future. But having a good season at G2 and then having a good preseason has led him to the first team now. And I think we're all happy for him because he's a good guy. Thank you. Uh, we'll go next to Chris Maldonado. Chris, go ahead. I think this will probably be the final question we have time for. Hey, Sasha, you've, you've played for the national team, you've played in Europe, you've had a long career in MLS, you are a very experienced midfielder. What kind of experience can you impart on a young player like Adam Saldana to help him improve as a pro player? Uh, I'll, I can tell you something specific that I worked with Adam last week on was uh, we were just working... Uh, center midfield guys playing long passes out to the wingers and the outside backs the, you know, for them to bring it down and then put a cross in the box. And he was just not as comfortable using his left foot as he is with his right. And so I said, now is the time to work on it in training, right? If you're going to take one with your right, take the next one with your left. Don't just do everything with your right foot because there will be a moment in the game when time and space is closing down and the ball's on your left foot and you have to be confident enough to hit that long pass out. So that's just something specific that we worked on last week. In a more general way, I think the more that he can try to follow the way I do things every day, you know, just the mentality that I have that I show up to training uh, early, you know, if, you know, not just being on time, but being early every day, being professional, being ready to train every day, taking care of your body, whether that's in the gym or extra stretching ice tubs, massages, whatever it is, all the little things that make it so that I'm available to train at my best level every day. Um, so far, he does a very good job of that. And, and he's obviously like a really strong kid and he's got an edge to him. So that, that shows in the game also, but he's, he's a good player. He's on the right path and I'm just gonna continue to try to push him on the right path. I've been happy with the way he's played the first two games. I think he's doing a good job. So everyone's, everyone's pulling for him because he's a good kid also. Thank you. Thanks, Sasha. That's all we have for you today. We hope you enjoy your John and Vinny's and uh, enjoy your French translation career after you retire. Thanks, guys. <laughs>